Hello everyone. Welcome to Fame World Educational Hub. Myself, Ashwara Saxena. And today, in the series of Kinter Programming, I am going to start with some new stuff. So, in the previous lecture, we have seen that how we can resize and we can just make a window of the default size. And now, I am just copying this code and let's take a new file here. So, I am taking one new file here and the same code I have pasted right now. But yes, I am going to make some changes. Now, I am just going to create one more function here and that's really interesting. You will find it very interesting. Let's do that. So, open function I am creating. So, if you want to open a new file, for that it is. So, here I am taking browse. Okay, and let's create this. If you have not watched the previous lectures, please watch that. Otherwise, you won't be able to understand this one properly because most of the thing in this particular program I have discussed in the previous video. So, let's take one more important module here, uh, one function it's required. So, from the printer only I am importing file dialog. So, file dialog is basically helpful for opening the file. So, here I am taking file name equals to file dialog dot ask open file name then in this ask open file name i am giving file name first of all it's file types equals to and here i am writing file you will understand that how it will come as soon as i will run it and we shall compare it and i will explain it properly so here for the first one i have taken files uh, dot py asterisk dot py means every file which belongs to python extension dot py that is then I'm taking all files. Okay. Let's write this way. And then comma. And here we are taking asterisk dot asterisk. So all files of all the types. After that, I am taking path label config so this path label i have not yet created but yes we will create it next uh, text equals to file name okay so now let's create this path label it's just a variable on which the path will be appearing path of a particular file which we have opened so path label equals to label and i want this label in the window and then path label dot path okay so here you can see that's working properly let's check it it's working or not so this is our window and new it's working new project it's working resize it's working these are the old things which we have done in the previous program then it comes to open which we have created right now so now as I have pressed on the open, so the browse function which we have created should be called and uh, you can see, oh it's here. So with the help of this browse function which we have created, this is coming and what is this, what's that file and all file, you can see it's here. So when I have selected the first one that is file, so it will consider only the files which belong to python. So let's check that it's working or not. Mm. Let's find some python code. You can see these are the python extension files. So I'm just selecting this one open and here you can see the path is coming. Now if I want to open some other extension file. So uh, suppose here we are but here it's not nothing right now. Okay now here we are. Uh, here it's nothing right now but let's take this all files. And as soon as I will choose this all file. Okay nothing is coming it, oh it's not responding yeah so you can see as i have taken this all files so all different kind of files are coming not only the python files all different kinds of files are coming these are the ppts the mp4 file is also coming so everything is visible so let's select any one of that so because we have taken all files so all the files of all the extension will be coming and you can see here the image which i have taken that's path is coming 
so let's try this once again for you so here I have selected like this is selected this image is selected inside this this is saying no nothing is there no item match users and when I took all files so here you can see that all kind of files are visible like there is two type of file so this I have taken and now you can see this image is coming so it's working very properly you can see and uh, now exit so the program which we have created it's working properly and both kind of files we can handle one more thing it's not necessary to write file only we can take tea coffee or whatever we like suppose I have written here tea and here I have written coffee so it will also work so for tea we will be dealing with the python files you can see and for the coffee we will be dealing with all others let's check in the open so this time you can see it's written t and coffee so if i am taking t so the files which are uh, python extension files will be opening mm, where are the python files somewhere it should be in my laptop no python files no python files let's check somewhere else okay so here we are having some python programs so you can see it's written t and for that we are having this dot py so it's open here dot py file it's open here and if we want to open some other extensions so we can directly go for coffee so with the help of coffee we will be seeing all the other extensions also so let's take some other extensions suppose here now if i will change it to t so you will be seeing that there is no file available okay now it's coffee so here you can see all the different formats are available suppose i am taking this notepad.png so now it is open so i hope now it is clear and uh, you have understood that how we work here so in this particular agenda like when you are working with this browse operation so Today we have seen that how we can create an uh, open function to browse any file and to open it. I hope it was clear. If you are having any doubts, you can put your doubts into the comment section. We will work on it. See you in the next video.